Eric Ten Hag, what have you done? Just yesterday, Man United played good football, got into the Champions League and actually won a trophy. So what's happened? A couple more results like this and Ten Hag's job may be on the line. But in this video, we'll give you as many as four good reasons why Man United must not sack the head coach. And as they say on YouTube, wait for the reason number four. Let's go! Okay, so reason number one to keep Eric Ten Hag is there is nobody better available. The only elite head coach out of job is Zinedine Zidane. But it seems like he's obsessed with coaching France one day and not tainting his reputation under the leaky Old Trafford roof. You could also point to the powder keg Antonio Conte, but only if you want to see the place burn down. Reason number two is it sends the wrong signal. Again, this is the manager who's to blame and not the overpaid and molly coddled United footballers. Jaden Sancho, for example, would outlive the manager. This would mean you have to do nothing for a couple of months apart from collecting the wages. Again, the footballers would say on Instagram how they feel responsible, but nothing would really change. Reason number three is it's still too early, isn't it? United could still go on a good run and recover some pace. The upcoming games against Fulham, Copenhagen, London Town and Everton seem like a perfect place to restart. And finally, the main reason number four is that the root of all evil is not the head coach. Most recently, United have tried it with the special one, the club legend, the so-called gegenpressing father and now the highly successful Ajax coach. And not without success, but that success was always unsustainable. At some point, you have to wonder if the club fails the head coach, not vice versa. Not long ago, United were the only club in the Premier League without a sporting director. And to be honest, you could say they still don't have one. John Murcher has the position, but does he have any power? Looking at the transfers, you wonder if there was any input from him. And if there was, Murcher had better explain himself for sanctioning Anthony or Mason Mount's transfers. United owners, the Glazer family, still fail to install a competent staff to complement the head coach. Look at the Premier League table. Not a single badly run club above Man United. Even Aston Villa didn't become good because of Unai Emery alone, but because the club hired the right people to work with the head coach. The same Emery struggled at Arsenal when the club was a mess a few years ago. And the thing is, people say nothing will change with the Glazers in charge. But you look at Arsenal where the owner Stan Kroenke was hated by fans just as much. But the Kroenke family hired the right people and look where they are now. Ralf Rangnick didn't cover himself in glory as United's coach, but he correctly diagnosed United's disease. United need an open-heart surgery and not cosmetic changes. Changing the faces in the dugout will not change the laughable transfer and contract policies and the overall atmosphere at the club. The cultural reboot must happen from within. All that said, questions still must be asked of Eric Ten Hag. First of all, what is his play style? He came with a promise of fluid football, but now he says United will never play like his Ajax did. His transfers are also very suspicious, something we covered in another video. The players he insisted on either don't play or don't perform. Some might say Ten Hag has his favorites, players that never get dropped, the likes of Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, or the very same Anthony. And finally, the manner of some of United's defeats is just disgraceful. It seems like once United get turtled down, it's curtains for them, and any scoreline is possible for the opponent from that point. Man United fans were asking you, do you think Eric Ten Hag has to be sucked? If so, who should replace him? Let us know in the comments and also like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. See you in other videos.